I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card to practice decision making. If you are new to this game, look for links in the video description below for the rules and a demonstration. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 28 tiles. Player 2 will get 27 tiles. Then we'll look at each player's hands and decide where the strengths lie. We'll be able to pick out categories to play. Sometimes you can even pick out a hand. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one. We have a couple of jokers, a flower, east, west, south, pair of souths. In cracks we have one, two, four, six, nine, pairs of ones and twos. In dots we have one, two, three, eight, pair of ones. And in bams we have one, two, four, eight, nine, pung of twos, pairs of fours and eights. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play a noose pair hand with ones and two, four, six, eight, and I would not pick a hand for two, four, six, eight. We could also maybe do like numbers with twos. News pair hand. It's always nice to play a big hand if you can. And then something with two, four, six, eight, or like numbers with twos. I think that's what I would do. I would just start by discarding these and see what develops. All right, let's see what we can do for player two. We have a couple of jokers, a flower, north and east, white dragon. Here we have two, five, six, seven, nine. Pung of fives, pair of sixes. In bams, we have one, five, six, seven, pairs. And then in cracks, we have three, six, seven, nine, pair of sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play five, six, five, six, seven. This is the third hand from the bottom under consecutive run. We have five, six, five, six, seven. That hand is set if we use a joker. And that might even end up being a pure hand, which would be great for value. So that does deplete the potential for the other hand, but we could maybe play a year hand. So I think that's what I would do. This hand is set. We could pung, pung, kong. Five, six, five, six, seven. And then here, maybe play a year hand. We may not be able to use these. If we don't use these, we could use those. Or if we get fives and more jokers, we might be able to play five, seven, nine of some kind. 
So maybe hold those and discard those. That's how I would do it. We're going to start by discarding. Let's discard nine bam. And we'll draw for this player. Five. Oh, that'll be nice up here if this year hand doesn't work. So we have three hands going just because of the way the tiles are lined out. Let's see. If we get three BAMs and nine BAMs, we might be able to do odds. We'll see. Let's discard six crack. And I would not take that here. I wonder if we could maybe play the concealed 2468 hand with twos. We wouldn't need that. Well, let's just see how it goes. Green. Well, oops. What? There. <laughs> okay, green dragon. Two, four, six, eight, green. Third hand down. We wouldn't need a pair, but we have a gap. We could maybe use these for the sixes. Let's discard nine crack. Flower. That might help up here. Let's discard. Let's keep the nine. We've got five, seven, nine there. Let's discard three crack. Five crack. Hmm. I still think this pair hand looks pretty good. I was thinking we could do one, three, five, but I think I'd rather focus on like numbers and then two, four, six, eight down here. So let's discard five crack. So we have a four dot, we're focused here. Up here, either a year hand or odds. Four dot. There's a two dot. A lot of twos in here. Maybe like numbers with twos. I was thinking, I wonder if we could switch our like numbers here, but we would need to recover with something else down here and our twos are needed for two, four, six, eight. We could maybe do news with twos and like numbers if we can get more flowers. Let's discard three dot. We don't have to make a decision yet. Four crack. I wouldn't do anything here. I would wait. I'm kind of thinking we could play that concealed hand maybe. Oh, five dot. No, we don't need that. Up here, we have a pair and we can't do anything here really. Five, seven, seven, nine is what I would play, not, not that. Probably those can go three crack. Red. Red dragon. Okay. All right. So this is where I was thinking maybe we could switch to like numbers with dragons maybe there and then put the twos up here. for news with twos. We need norths in here and a flower. And then here we could maybe do two, four, six, eight concealed or two, four, six, eight dragon or like numbers with ones. Either way, we did not 
use the eight or the one up there. So let's discard one bam. And I wouldn't do anything here. We don't have enough tiles to make a decision there. And we have an eight crack. One bam. Of course we draw one bam. We just discarded that. Six crack. We don't need it. I kind of want that down here. This player is drawing this player's tiles. Three crack. No, I don't think so. Three crack. North. Okay, so that may be a keeper if we play concealed, but I don't know. We'll see. I would keep it for a little while. You know what I was just thinking? We could do five, seven, five, seven, nine crack concealed there. Let's discard this one bam. There are two out. Red. Okay, red. Red dragon. That would help here. We play like numbers with ones and dragons. Maybe this could help with white dragons. I really don't like dedicating a gap like that, but this is not really coming in. Let's discard eight dot. Three bam. Oh, one three. Yeah, that's weak. I wouldn't keep it. Three bam. All the one bams are out too. So let's draw. Eight bam. Okay. Two, four, eight. Dragon. So let's discard these. Six crack. Maybe we could use this for the six bam. We need a two bam in here. It's up here at the moment. Eight crack. One dot. Well, we keep going back and forth between two, four, six, eight, and like numbers with ones. Let's discard four crack. Last tile, second wall. Flower. Maybe we should play a quint up here. Quint with sevens. Let's discard one bam. Seven bam. Now we have seven eight. I don't think that's going to be helpful though. I think we're stronger there. We need a north really badly. So there's a seven bam. Five crack. Let's see. Let's discard two dot. I think five, seven, nine is looking better than a year hand. Hmm, okay, we'll keep going. <gasps> Joker! Okay. Joker, now we have to decide down here. Either, either hand we have gaps. We have seven tiles towards two, four, six, eight with green, and we have the same number of tiles for like numbers with ones. We don't have any white dragons. Two, four, six, eight, dragon. Pear, pear, pung, pung, kong. We have to make a choice right now. Since we're using twos up here, let's go with the ones. 
this is kind of a painful choice. Let's let's discard Green Dragon and focus here. That's kind of a hard choice. Three bam. Nine bam. Whoops, one dot. If we're playing the dragon hand, that's a pung, so we're good there. We need white dragons. Oh, Joker. Well, that'll work. Well, that hand really is set, but ooh, I would hate to expose a whole pung of jokers. Let's see, let's keep that and discard eight bam. If the north goes down, we could switch to like numbers with twos and flowers. So let's just hold that. Sometimes I'll turn a tile upside down to remind me that there's a plan B. red really those can both go away so let's discard red and here we're gonna kong so there's a kong let's discard eight bam nine bam okay well this is kind of interesting that's really collecting up there let's discard white dragon White dragon. Okay, now here, here, we could Kong that. Of course, that's going to mean that the jokers are available to our opponent. But that also will mean that this hand is ready to win on a one crack and we could lock the jokers in. Which also means that if we switch to like numbers with twos, we would no longer have access to the jokers. So I think I would let it go. Let it go. Oh, I just don't like the idea of putting out three, three jokers like that. Oh my gosh. Um, this, this hand though is pretty close and so is this one. Oh, this is going to make me cringe. We're going to do it. We're going to Kong. Oh my goodness. That is <laughs> that I think would be astounding at the table. <laughs> but we're ready to win on a one crack. Let's see, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so let's discard eight bam. Oh my goodness. I hope we draw white dragons. Okay, flower. So here we have a Kong of flowers. Wow, this is interesting. So Kong of Flowers, we have the fives, but we have fives here too. So I'm just wondering if we should rethink this whole thing now. This looked so good, but it's really not coming in. So what if we were to play like numbers with fives and then six, seven, six, seven, eight, because this is not working. Although we could maybe play a quint with sevens and stick with this. Quint with sevens, five, six, five, six, seven, or we could let the the winds go, play like numbers with fives, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, eight, joker bait, discards, We need a pair here, but we could Kong Kong be ready to win. Either way, 
We did not use the east. Four, 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 three. Okay, let's discard the east. So we can still go back to the other way. So let's just keep going. <gasps> north! We got the north. Oh my gosh. Now we need a flower in here. Four bam. Oh my goodness, this pear hand. We need a, a north or a flower. We got a flower. We don't need it unless we were to switch to like numbers with sevens. Okay, so let's see. I don't think we used really the nines. So let's discard nine bam. So we still don't have to commit there. Seven crack. Well, four bam was discarded. So let's do that. Six dot. We only need a pair unless we go back to five, six, five, six, seven. Five, six, five, six, seven. And then a quint with sevens. Let's see. Five, six, five, six, seven. And then a quint with sevens because of the six. Really, we don't even have to decide because we're not using the nines. Let's discard nine crack. Pretty soon we're going to have to make a choice though. Oh, eight bam. Okay, it's getting close for both of these players. White dragon. We, oh, exchange please. Thank you. All right, let's discard nine dot. We still don't have to make a choice yet. Same tile. Okay, now there's a seven. Okay, so I would go back to five, six, five, six, seven. Five, six, five, six, seven. Here. Quint. We can quint here, and we could even Kong there using all the jokers. Five, six, five, six, seven. Quint, quint, Kong. So we need to Pung and Kong. That could be pure right there. So let's discard then the seven dot. I think any way we go with that could be viable. But this is a potential pure hand and this is a potential quint. Six crack. That's not a keeper. Six bam. Ready on a pure hand. Seven crack. Five crack. Oh, that's pretty exciting there. Oh, Joker. Oh, yeah, that's a win right there because we are pretty close to double Mahjong here. So let's discard seven crack. And that would be Mahjong on a pure hand, and I would call it. So we're going to call this to get the value. Five, six... Five, six, seven. Pure. That's a 50 point hand. Five, six, five, six, seven. Let's discard five, bam. Okay, now down here, we're going to try to double Mahjong. We have a pair hand and a, and a winning hand here. We're one away from double Mahjong. We need a flower or a north. Four dot. Four bam. Oops. Nine dot. East. East. Are they out? Let's discard five dot. 
there is an east out, but the norths are not down. So you have to think that winds are not down, so this player is probably holding winds. So it's nice to have an option, even though there's an east out. Three dot. We're back up here. Three dot. Eight dot. Two dot. South. We don't need that. We need a north. So there's a south. Green. East. Those are singles in this hand, so we don't need that. East. We can discard the east. Eight dot. Seven dot. Four bam. Two bam. Last tile, second wall. White dragon. Oh, exchange, please, and thank you. We don't need it. Well, at least it'll be a safe discard, I guess. Let's discard two bam. We need a north for a pair hand. No jokers in a pair hand. Nine crack. Okay, how many nines are out and how many sevens are out? I know there's a nine crack out there early in the game, and I don't think there are any sevens out yet, so let's discard the nine crack. Okay, we need a flower or a north. Six dot. Eight green. Oops. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, Joker. Oh my goodness. Three crack. Okay, we need a keeper here. Flower, we got it. Okay, now we need a north. Two crack. Okay, we need a north, north. Seven dot. Here, we need a north or a seven bam. Eight crack. Seven dot. Oh, that north. We wouldn't know, of course, it's up here. There's still one in here, though. Red dragon. Exchange. Thank you. Discard. Ready to win. Okay, so we're ready to win on either a seven bam or a north. So we can use those jokers throughout. Here, we're ready on a north. Six bam. Oh, five crack. Of course, a joker would work too. There's four, five. So between this hand and this, so they would think maybe there are three in the wall. Oh, there's two in the discard pile, so there's only one more joker left. We need a north. One crack. Well, maybe we can make that one pure too. White, or, that's a joker, joker. Okay, up here. Oh my goodness, this is getting exciting here. Potential pure hand, pair hand, quint, pure hand. Three dot. Oh my goodness, this is, whew, this is intense. Here we go. We need a north. One crack. We already have it. Here we go. 
eight crack. West, oh, wrong one. Okay, West up here, nine dot. Two crack, we've got our twos. Okay, here we go. White dragon, exchange please, thank you. Four mahjong, double mahjong, no, this is staggered. And here, pure hand but undeclared. So we have a quint, quint right here. We probably should have declared that, but we wanted, mm, we weren't going to win with a 25 point hand versus a pure hand. So I think I don't have any regrets, even though it's painful. Okay, so five, six, five, six, seven, and a quint. And here we have a pure hand just made pure by that win. So we could have declared that, but we were hoping for double mahjong to combat this pure hand. So for scoring, this player did a self pick by Joker Exchange, so there won't be a 20 point penalty. They would get single value for this and then double value for this since it's the second win. This is a 25 point hand, but it is pure. So this is a 50 point hand. And this would be the quint, which is a 40 point hand. So that would be doubled at 80 points. So 80 and 50 would be 130. And then this player has no declared wins. So they pay that full amount. Siamese Mahjong is very challenging. There are nuances to the game that make it very exciting. Remember to look for links in the video description below where you can download the rules and watch a demonstration. Also, if you haven't played at Mahjong time yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you instructions on how to get started playing there. And you can use the same credentials playing at the four player game, Mahjong time and Siamese Mahjong dot com. It's like a buy one get one free. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.